We're going to Richmond. What's up everyone, Felix here with another video and this weekend we are headed to Richmond, Virginia for the Richmond Marathon. I'm very pointy today and I'm just trying to get my point across. Aha. You're probably thinking, Felix, you don't look like a runner and you're correct in that assessment. I am not a runner, but my wife is. There it is again, there's that, that pointer finger. My wife is a runner and this will be her eighth marathon. Uh, she's run a good number of half marathons and some 8Ks and 10Ks, but she's been working her tail off to get to this point. So we're gonna go up to, to Richmond and see what happens. So we made it into the city, we made it through the expo, which is a little bit like a live action version of Sky Mall, in my opinion. Uh, we made it to our hotel, we got all checked in, uh, and one of the best parts about spectating a marathon, in my opinion, is carbo loading the night before. So we're gonna get cleaned up, and we're gonna stuff pasta in our face. We're back from dinner. It was delicious. We've been hanging out in our room. It's the night before the marathon. I'm nervous, but I'm not even running it tomorrow. How are you feeling? Um, you know, normal race jitters for sure. Are you more um, are you more nervous or more excited? A little bit of both. Now that we're here and, you know, picked up my race number and we had a nice relaxing delicious dinner just kind of taking it easy the hotel you know it's all kind of sinking in and coming together the nerves are fading a little bit and I think it's turning into excitement what'd you have for dinner <sighs> delicious chicken piccata some pasta it was just right some garlic bread what are we eating after the race oh man where do we start? <laughs> what aren't we eating after I the race? I think at the finish line they're serving pizza and beer. So I'm thinking that'll probably be my first meal. We're going to bed because we have to be up super early and it's going to be very hot tomorrow morning. Mm, lies, <laughs> lies. It's going to be 25 degrees at the start, which is great except Four days ago in Virginia Beach, it was 80 degrees. So this is gonna be a little bit of a shock to the system, but I think it'll make us run faster. So bring it on. Bring it on. See you guys tomorrow morning. Morning of, and for those of you wondering what elite marathon runners eat for elite. breakfast. I'm elite, I'm <laughs> the girls off at the start line and now we are making our way to Cary Street because that is where we are eventually going to meet Sarah so I can give her her water bottle and her additional packs of goo and also it's time for coffee we're looking for coffee it is essential that we pour coffee into our heads right now Success. We found a little coffee shop. It's directly next to mile 17, which is where we need to be. So let's go get some coffee. We are making our way back toward the end of the race. We saw Sarah at the 25 mile mark. We got some coffee poured into our bellies, which was 
prime. So now we're headed to the, the end of the race for the party and the pizza and the beer. It's warmed up a little bit. It's not quite as cold as it was this morning. But yeah, let's go get our finishers. What's up everyone? It's the day after the Richmond Marathon. It's nice and early in the morning. I left the room to go look for some coffee. Didn't find any, but it's a gorgeous day outside. Got the Richmond skyline behind me. I'm not sure what any of these buildings are. And I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of guys cleaning windows up there, which is pretty rad. So yesterday was a whirlwind. It was really, really fun. My wife set out uh, with a couple of goals in mind and she was able to hit her PR, which stands for personal record, personal best. She was sick, actually our entire house was sick the week leading up to the race. And she was a little bit nervous because she didn't know if she was gonna be well enough to run the race yesterday. And she had a couple backup plans and she thought last minute, you know what? I'm going for it. So I have so much respect for her. I'm so proud of what she accomplished yesterday. And she went out and she just ran a solid, solid race. And of course, we got to go out and celebrate Richmond style. We went out to a bunch of different restaurants and some different brew pubs and just hung out with our friends. And also, my friend Melissa ran her very first marathon. She did an amazing job as well. It's been a great trip. We're gonna go out and get some food and then we're headed home. So I'll see you guys next time.